we are going to begin our tour uh, right here at Cheap Thrills. Cheap Thrills Record Store. And I'm just going to flip around. And there it is. That is the record store. It's called oh, Cheap Thrills. Free parking and Captain Nemo. I guess that's probably the comic book provider or whatever. The comic book dude. Uh, this is the place. Movies. Cash paid for used. Trade in for cash. So they trade records, LPs, CDs, cassettes, tapes. And they've got uh, recording supplies. So, uh, and they're hiring. If you're looking for a job, you might go in and check with them. Cheap thrills. And as we continue up Hygiera Street, uh, there's Caltech computers over there. Can vouch for them. Those guys are very knowledgeable. Know what they're doing. The bear and the wren. A kindly crafted wood-fired eatery. Never been there, but uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's an interesting mural here. It's kind of neat. Oh, and those are like, uh, there's this little range of mountains kind of going out to the coast here called the Nine Sisters, and those would be three of them. Uh, <clears throat> right next to the Bear and the Wren is the Creamery Marketplace, and I think we could go over there and walk through that place because... Uh, there's a bunch of cool little shops in there, so let's go check it out. We've got the gastro bar and the pisco bar cocktails here. Now let's just take a look at what's in here. We've got Bear and the Wren, as we saw there. Quesadilla Gorilla. Night Creamery. Hella Hot Chicken. Mistura, Picking Daisies, Mama's Meatball, Goldland Barbecue, Banshee Beauty Company, Club Bubbly, Japanese Restaurant Goshi, Trio Boutique, Calipaso, Buendia Coffee, Sunday Car Wash, and Bamboo Chinese Food. It looks like number 200 and number 210 are vacant. Let's just walk through there. There's Mistura. Hi. Yes, Mistura, sir. Cool. Let's look at their menu here. Mistura. I'll just uh, get a get a pan of it here, and you you can pause the video if you want to look at it closely. like a really good menu. It's huge. Huge menu. And you got a dinner menu and a lunch menu, I guess. And there's our hours. We're open. So, there's Histura. Mistura. Picking Daisies downtown fabric boutique. Sure, it's a good place to get fabrics.
Mama Meatball. Mama's Meatball. This looks like a good place to get some meatballs. That guy looks like he knows how to make a meatball. Mama's Meatballs. Fine Italian cuisine. I haven't tried that place, but I've heard it's really good. Peace, love, and Diaz. Tia's. Diaz. Diaz. Peace, love, and Diaz. Beer menu. Looks like they got some beer there. Quesadilla Gorilla. Quesadilla Gorilla. Diaz. And then you got hell hot California chicken here. Hell hot. Night cream room. Guess they're closed because it's not night. Calipasso Winery and Via. Calipasso Winery and Via. Clean machine kitchen. More shops this way. Gold Land Barbecue. Trio, clothing and jewelers. Club Bubbly. And here's Banshee Beauty Company. Banshee. Hi. Club Bubbly. Oh, I see they have a lot of bubbly things in there. Champagne and stuff. And here's Goshi. Japanese restaurant. Temporary business hours. Closed. Goshi. Uh, bamboo, bamboo. Chinese restaurant. Interesting place. All right, let's continue up the street here, past Jella's Beauty Salon. There is a liquor store here on the corner. Sandy's Deli and Liquor. And actually, I'm really thirsty, so I'm gonna get something to drink. Okay. Well, that's all taken care of. We can continue forth. There's the corner, Century 21 over there. Patrick James over there. Gentlemen's clothing. Wait. They're pretty serious about their traffic laws around here and pedestrian laws, so you have to really do what they say. Hi. Yeah, we got the 
Old San Luis Barbecue Company. And across the street, the competitive arcade and tap room. And Tiger Lily, which looks like uh, some kind of boutique. Old San Luis Barbecue. You can get food here fairly, fairly reasonable price, you know. And, uh, I don't know, I've been disappointed though, like their tri-tip sandwich, I mean, for 15 bucks I kind of expect a little more meat than what I got, but <clears throat> whatever. I understand prices are high, everybody wants a beef sandwich. The center studio, right here. It looks like a dance, acupuncture, and wellness. Acupuncture and wellness spa, there we go. I thought it was dancing or something, but. And, uh, what do we got across the street? We got The Mark. Tacos, tapas, and tequila. Tapas. Oh, I love tapas. I've never been in there to look at their tapas menu. I'm gonna have to uh, try that place out. Maybe not today, because I've already had lunch, but the muck. Okay. Tom's Toys. And there's a yoga fitness studio here. That's what the center is. Not opening the door in the skirt, so uh, how's that Anthony and Company Jewelers. Designers of fine jewelry. Right here. Number 674. Anthony and Company. You know, I've noticed that uh, it's interesting. Every time you do a, a film, a video in public, uh, it has the potential of becoming a um, First Amendment audit because often you'll be filming in public and someone will come up and approach you and ask you what you're doing or tell you you can't be doing it and um, it's happened to me before uh, by the uh, purveyors of jewelry this owner of a jewelry shop once came out and told me that I couldn't film in front of his shop <laughs> He said he claimed he owned the sidewalk. <laughs> so needless to say, I went back and filmed his shop off and after that. But, uh, but yeah, every time you film in public, uh, you run that uh, possibility of it turning into a First Amendment audit or being confronted by an angry person who thinks that it's not okay to film in public. Sometimes they think that merely by walking through their video, walking through your video, <coughs> uh, means that you, you now need their written consent to publish it or something. And it just doesn't work that way. This place is closed. I think it used to be McClintock. And it closed up. Flower House, Pizza Bar, and Pastoria. So, uh, I like pizza. Let's look at their menu. I'm gonna have to come back here and try their pizza. I've never tried it. Flower House. That's interesting. The Burger Village, right next door to it. Get a burger, get some pizza, whatever your heart desires around here. Uh, here is the Rocket 
soda pop and candy shop across the street along with the battle axe indoor axe throwing store in Kreuzberg, California, which is like a, a coffee joint, coffee and pastries and stuff. Now, uh, over here, uh, <clears throat> the San Luis Obispo Museum of Art, um, that colorful building on the right. Uh, that's a really cool place, you can go in there. Usually it's free, I think, but they take donations and it's always good to give one if you had it. Uh, and support the arts. Yeah. Looks like there's an art gallery on the left up there. And some place called the Purple Room. And right next to a place called Sidecar, and I'll bet those are both wine bars. There, yeah, no button to push, but some instructions about what to do. Central Coast Wines and Wine Tasting. And right next to it, like a t-shirt shop, jerseys and stuff. Uh, but here you got a tasting room, a bunch of different wines to choose from. Across the street we have black water store. Hotter than a hoochie coochie, it says on the sign over there. Next door, a tattoo shop. Higera Street Tattoo. I'll do that. So obnoxious. Uh, it's loud, it wastes gas. And I, I don't think anybody appreciates it. Anyway, there's Higuera Street Tattoo Shop. Classic or custom. And across the street, just cover these buildings across. We've got Lokum, Turkish Delight, Baklava, Turkish Coffee, 1920. I think that's a little restaurant or something, but I wonder if it's even open. And then uh, next to it, Michael's Optical. And Space Release. Mother's Tavern is closed, I think. Pretty sure that place closed its doors. And right next door to that, this place called the Library. It also looks like a little bar, but maybe it's closed. They got a Modelo sign in the window. I don't know. Hi. Hey. We got Rogers. Rogers Jewelry Company. So let's just film some of the stuff in her window here. Let's just see. Let's just experiment. Let's do a little First Amendment audit on this jewelry store and see if they come out and try to boss me around. Uh -huh. There's some interesting looking rings.
Huh? They did pretty good. No one came out to bug me. This is Novo Restaurant and Lounge. Creekside Dining, Lunch, Dinner, Sunday Brunch. Don't see a menu. Right across the street to my right is Nick the Greek just kind of a new chain restaurant that has opened here on the west coast I think they've only got a few locations one is in San Francisco I know that and I've uh, tried their souvlaki uh, and uh, it's disappointing to me but uh, anything would be disappointing to me because I traveled to Greece when I was 15 and I ate souvlaki on Crete and uh, ever since then it's hard to find anything that I regard as good souvlaki. But this is the frog in the peach pub. Pretty popular joint I'm told. Been in there once or twice but I didn't even feel like ordering a drink. It was kind of dark I thought. I guess they do have a patio in the back or something though. Uh, the Carissa by Slowbrew. This must be a uh, this must be another bar. Yeah, it's a bar. A lot of these bars uh, will just do beer or beer and wine and, and not really uh, you know uh, serve any other kind of alcohol just beer and wine slow brew lofts urban lodging looks like a <laughs> be a fun place to live right here I'm right up on top of two three bars <laughs> ambiance is the name of the clothing store over there right next to the Blade Runner salon and spa and there's the pet boutique and this is the just looking gallery just looking. And we have like some cool like travel poster style art here. He's been making travel posters and to art. Some pin up art here. Pin up. Cool looking shop. Looks like fun. I like it a lot. And most of these buildings down here are historic, you know. I mean, they've been here for a long time. And this is like when you watch the old cowboy shows and stuff, a lot of them, you know, a lot of those old cowboy television shows from the 50s and stuff were. This was the kind of town you'd pictured one of those. All these buildings would have been wooden and then they were placed by brick, you know, and then it grew up from there. There goes the city of San Luis Obispo, passing by. Right here we got the Mission Mall, number 746. Got a few stores in here, so I'll just show you what they are. It's a beautiful little mall area here. Yeah, and these are the businesses you'll find in here. Idle Wild Floral, Mr. Michaels, Wendia Market, Roxanne's Birkenstock, Kiko Peruvian Cuisine, and Pisco Bar. Wow. Peruvian Cuisine. That sounds good. I don't know what Pisco is, but I'm willing to try it. Ooh, cool car. It's a Ferrari. Let's 
see a lot of fancy cars around here. Uh, there's a lot of rich people, that's why. It's, uh, and a lot of car collectors, a lot of classic car buffs. Kiko Peruvian Cuisine. I'm gonna try now. We should walk back there and look at that place. Kiko Peruvian Cuisine and Pisco Bar. Here's the hours, 5 to 9 p.m., closed on Tuesday. <coughs> it's the exterior of it. Look inside. You see they've got... Uh, Pretty bare dining room there. We must be having a party tonight. They've got it set up for 10, 11 people there. And a couple of two tops. Oh, there's their menu. Ceviche. Potatoes. Chicken. Skewered chicken and pork, scallops, flash fried fish, creek, creek salad, chupe de marisco, seafood mix, traditional Peruvian soup. Oh, there's an Asian influence. Wow. And an Italian influence. Traditional Peruvian, seco con frijoles, slow cooked cilantro, and yellow garlic beef stew with Peruvian frijoles and topped with Criolla salad, 40 bucks. Wow. I hope that feeds more than one. Jeez. Oh, we should go back here because this backs up to the river and I want to show you this. Oh, here's the Pisco Bar. Here's the Pisco Bar. Shoesurfing.com Oh, it's a shoe store. Shoe store? Okay, this is what I was talking about. So yeah, all this kind of backs up. And this is the mission area. That's the mission over there. Uh, and there's the San Luis Obispo River. And uh, so there's this kind of uh, beautiful little park area uh, with, you know, uh, I don't want to call it a bike path. It's more for people, I guess. But, uh, you know, and it's kind of beautiful the way they did it. There's all these catwalks everywhere. Uh, and uh, places for people to walk around and relax and just enjoy being by the river you know which is right here <coughs> pretty nice scene okay Just, uh, you know, I'm glad we came back here. That was an interesting little excursion.
my throat was really dark, dry and my chest uh, was really kind of a feeling some, I don't know, like just a lump in my chest. So I decided to have a little mate, a little yerba mate, which I love. And uh, hey, Siri. it made me feel better immediately. Is that a 45 minute timer? Uh, yeah, Gaia's Gallery. Home, body, soul. And the Len Collective Jewelry and Curated Goods. slow and the street musician there's almost always like the street musician over here sometimes there's more than one style and uh, it's a beautiful building really well made eighteen warden block ninety seven guess there might even be apartments up there or something loft two oh one Vertec Engineering Studio Design Group Dozuki and Kirk Consulting up there. Oh. And uh, across the street is the Mino building. This is Mino Brothers. Probably pronounced Maino. Maino Brothers. building is the Cal Poly downtown store where you can buy Cal Poly official Cal Poly merchandise Pipa and Kai is the name of this store right next door to Basalt it seems to have some home furnishings Salt home furnishings. Keep it in kai. Looks like a clothing store. And accessories. The hands gallery across the way. Euphoria. And the Hemp Shack. Hep Cat Clothing next to that. The Ritual next to that. Which also looks like clothing. Proof and Gather Baking Company. Bread, cookies, coffee, pastries. Artisan Bakery. Sourdough Loaf. Baguette. They sell sandwiches, muffins, cinnamon rolls. The network, Creekside Dining. Back in there somewhere, I guess. Look at this building.
Okay, there we go. So you've got authentic Ethiopian cuisine. Ooh, Ethiopian cuisine. Oh my god, I want to try that. Ebony. Organic, vegan, and gluten-free. Proof and gather baking company. Artisan baked goods. Mare Couture Bridal. Richardson Sabi's. International Realty. Bill Carpenter. Realtor. Creaky Tiki Island Grill. This place also shut down. The store doesn't appear to have a name on it. Oh, their sign must have fallen down or something. Anyway, it's obviously a clothing store. And here we got Windia. I guess it's mostly art and posters and things. Obispo Slow Swim. The stores in there. Okay. I don't like a shoe store or a clothing store here. Definitely looks like both shoes and shoes and clothing. Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right. How about you? Good, man. You're all camped out here, huh? I'm uh, trying to sell my artwork. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool stuff, man. Thank you. Oh, wow. So, <clears throat> did you whittle that little arrowhead? Or no, I didn't make the arrowhead. Just I just got it and it. wired it up, huh? Cool. I wish I knew how to nap last week. Napping, that's like what that. it's called. Right, yeah. I saw a guy do it once. I was amazed. I thought it was yeah. really impressive. I was told if I tried it, smash my fingers and cut myself up. <laughs> it, it, he's, his fingers were all cut up, but yeah, he didn't seem to mind. <laughs> cool. Mostly stuff like these guys. That one's an MMA arm bar. It's a old. Oh, yeah. An arm bar. MMA arm bar. A mascot here. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Tim. Tim, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you. Yeah. That's Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, Kiwi looks very happy. Right. <laughs> cool, I'm making a video for my YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah, it's like a, a, a video about uh, downtown San Luis Obispo. Um, so I'm just going to walk all the way up and all the way back down. I'm kind of kind of highlighting each store as I go up and down the street here. I'm looking for the name on this one. It's right above the door. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Avanti. It's Avanti. Oh, really? They don't seem to mind, huh? No, I can get along with them fairly well. I guess you're not really competing with them, so. No, I'm not doing anything like what they have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's cool. Must be nice folks. They are. Yeah. Cool. There's a lot of nice folks left. There's not a lot of stores left downtown, unfortunately, but yeah. some are nice folks. <laughs> Thanks for chatting with me, yeah. Tim. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. So, that was Tim. Okay, down there is where the mission is. Uh, and maybe we should just go ahead and go down there. Uh, I tell you what, we'll go across the street first and then we'll go down towards the mission. Uh, that seems like a reasonable course of action. 
Across the street there's the Habit Bar and Grill and Premier Barber Shop. Bath and Body Works. And uh oops. Yeah, I'll go this way. Bulls Tavern on the right. Never been in there. It's kind of a little dark for my taste. Bulls Tavern. Next to it, we've got uh, San Luis Taqueria, Mexican cuisine. Taco Tuesday, two dollars and ten cent tacos. Authentic Mexican cuisine and craft beer. And across the street, we've got Park Ten Thirty Nine, which I don't know what that is. Moe's Mediterranean. Shawarmas, falafels, kebabs, and gyros, which I haven't tried, but I'm going to because I'm always looking for a good substitute for souflaki, which, as you know, I am a connoisseur of. Uh, so here we go. The, here's the Barrel House Brewing Company. I haven't been in there either, but it looks like you can get a beer there. And this, I think the store... 1029, that was a, they were selling barbecue wings there, and I guess they didn't make it. Next to that, we got Lunar Red, which is really a fun, fun little restaurant, and uh, good food. It's a little pricey, but what do you expect? Great location. Here we have Ike's Love and Sandwiches Sandwich Shop. And uh, I got a sandwich here once, and I thought it was pretty good. It's a little chain around here. There's a few of these places in the county. 1026 Goro Street. <coughs> and there is the mission. There's the mission. And on the way to the mission, we're going to pass Moondoggy's Beach Club. Which looks like another clothing store. Or maybe it's a surf shop. Surfing gear. T-shirts. Accessories. Okay. I'm going to go across the street here. Over to the Mission. As we pass Luna Red on the left. restaurant and bar. And there's their patio. Well, this is just a uh, just public area, I guess. And here's the other side of the river that we were looking at from the network over there. Pretty nice. Got the mission over here on the right. Right. Really beautiful here.
perfect day for this. The temperature is very nice. It's not cold. It's warm, but there's a light breeze just keeping everything cool. Some people hanging out here. So, of course, the mission was here way before the town was. This was like probably the first major building in the area. Built here by the Spanish in 1772. They arrived by boat and colonized this area way back then. <coughs> Subjugated the local native tribes and uh, forced their religion on them. And uh, I'm sure you all know the story of that. But such is the march of progress and the history of humanity. Uh, and here we are, just uh, all of this planet is nothing but it's just soaked in blood, and, you know, like generation after generation fighting over the same ground and uh, there was a lot of competition to colonize places and uh, spread your nation's holdings That's uh, Monterey Street there, and there's some stores and restaurants, boutiques. Going up the street, even more of that, and there's a hotel up there on top of the hill. Giuseppe's over there on the right, which is really very good Italian joint. Uh, I have wished that there... Uh, one time I thought the pasta was a little overdone, but... <clears throat> I'm pretty picky about the pasta. It was a really good dish. Get back to Hygiera Street here. Bath and Body Works on the left here and here on the left. Across the street is Premier Barbers and Corazon Cafe. Excuse me. Anderson Commercial for Lease. That place didn't make it. There's a van store across the street selling vans. And another vacant building here. Super silver of slow, silver from around the world.
there's a, a ramen noodle joint up there on the right. Uh, and uh, I haven't even tried it because I was going to go in and order some ramen one day and I thought it was just too outrageous. I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a bowl of ramen, so I didn't do it. Fanny Wrappers Lingerie. Right next door to Wetzel's Pretzels. And it's a lingerie store. Next to that, under the willow, another clothing store. I swear we saw that dress in a in a window back there a ways. I could have sworn we saw that same dress. Slow a la mode, ice cream parlor. Charles Shoes. Lulu Lux. Charles Shoes is obviously closed. Next to that is Atleta, and they're selling athletic clothing. I gotta wonder how a store can just, you know, that specialized can survive in these economic times. No wonder all the stores are closing down. There was a Ross here and it's been closed. Here's the Cal Poly Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And across the street, Anthropology. Some kind of clothing store, another clothing store. There's was Beverly's Fabrics and Crafts, but it's closed. Brixton Store and Brown Butter Cookie Company. Victoria's Secret. Everybody loves a Victoria's Secret store. Whoa, oh my god, what's going on here? Been doing some construction on that building. Giving it a facelift, I guess. There's a couple stores down there, upper post and summer line. And across the street, the Urbane Cafe. Handcrafted and fire baked. Blue Mercury Makeup Skincare Spa. Low frozen yogurt and Italian ice. And across the street we have Fay Movement. Whatever that means. Fay Movement. It's another clothing store. Clothing store after clothing store. Olives. We've got lots of olive oil here. California olive oils and balsamic vinegars. 
Looking to the right of that, Luisa's Place restaurant. It's closed right now. But it's a really popular joint for breakfast. And people will line up all the way down the street to get into this place. <coughs> Voted Slow County's and Cal Poly's best breakfast. According to... Oh, more than 20 times. Wow. So that's a big deal. As we move along, we come to seeds. And there's a whole little mall here of stores. Court Street. And, uh... Got Sephora upstairs, which is, I think it's like a furniture joint. I don't know, I could be wrong. Pottery Barn up at the top, way up there. And Slow Sweets, it's like a candy store in there. Up on the right, you got the U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. Hey, while we're here... Oh, well. I was going to say we could do a First Amendment audit on the bank. A lot of times banks get up tight when you're filming around the outside of them. But you do have a right to film in public and no one can complain about it. There's very few exceptions to that. It's the Banana Republic on the left, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a clothing store. I'm really amazed at how many clothing stores. It's like, how many clothing stores do people need? Bank across the way. <clears throat> Woodstock Pizza across the way. And Firestone Grill, which is a really good place to get lunch downtown. It's noisy, it's chaotic, but the food is good and it's cheap. What's that pizza? It's pretty good pizza. Service is terrible. Salads are pretty good, but it's inconsistent. Sometimes they're better than others. I guess, it's just, I guess it just depends on who's back there behind the make table. And we got the Couch Family Wines. It's another little wine tasting joint. A lot of those around here. Over here to the right, we have Thai Delight Cuisine. And uh, it's a really good place, actually. It's a good place to go for lunch. There's lunch specials that are only like 12 bucks, you know, for, a, you know, they give you soup, salad, and a nice little portion of whatever your favorite dish is. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good food. I like it there. Saint's Barrel. Another uh, really cool... Uh, wine bar. Everybody loves Saints Barrel. It's a wine bar, and I think they've even got billiards in there. Uh, 
the owners are a well-respected family in the area who's been here for a long time. Actually worked for the owner for a very short time. I don't think he liked me. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it wasn't personal, but he seemed pretty unhappy, and maybe he was just going through a hard time. I liked him, all right. Uh, and I wish I could have helped them, I guess. Maybe I didn't have the skills he needed, whatever. I think I did, but I didn't feel like I got a fair shake at it. No hard feelings, though. Uh, still like those guys. And there's the Black Horse Espresso and Bakery there. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you go up here a ways, um, and uh, it, it starts to turn into residential, and there's some law offices and stuff. And then one street over to the left is Monterey Street, and there's a lot of, uh, uh, there, if you go up like a couple blocks on the right-hand side, there's a good taqueria and a few little restaurants in there. This is the uh, government center, county government center. Uh, and uh, the courthouse is over on Monterey. One street over. We can go over there. Uh, well, tell you what, let's just go through the government center. We'll go through the government center and take a look at the courthouse. Cacho Akajian Government Center, County of San Luis Obispo. Information desk. This is the county clerk recorder's office here. Uh, a bunch of county clerk recorders in there, recording things and clerking away. In the building directory. San Luis Obispo Courthouse Annex. So the original courthouse was in that building over there to the left. And then uh, they built this courthouse here, which I think has been rather insufficient. And so they're even planning to move it again to another location. Uh, this is the Superior Courthouse. The Superior Court, San Luis Obispo. They've had a lot of problems here. 
a lot of problems keeping judges and a lot of understaffing. Their clerks are known to be not very helpful and sometimes downright rude. Uh, <clears throat> across the street is Buona Tavola, Ristorante Italiano, and we have really good food there. I really like that place, and the service is first rate too. And uh, across here is the uh, Fremont, Fremont Theater. Beautiful old building, just magnificent. And Art Deco. Uh, Art Deco de decoration, I guess you would call it. Um, I think it's really interesting that uh, there's a big crack going down it. I just noticed this huge crack, and it looks like someday that's going to fall. <laughs> Downstairs, we got the law library. Law library downstairs. And uh, there's a lot of county offices here. And you got the Superior Court, jury duty, district attorney office, sheriff's office, accessible entry, lower floor. Public Works, Planning Building, Information and Technology. And the county buildings are open 8 to 5. All these women are dressed in black, which tells me... They must be government agents. But one of them has leopard skin shoes, so I'm pretty sure that she's in disguise. She must be a double agent. Her shoes gave her away. Here's the old courthouse. Sushi across the street. Antigua Brewing. Yeah. Moe's Barbecue's closed. They didn't make it. Shin Sushi. I'd be surprised if they make it either. I don't recommend that place. I've, I've only been there once, but it wasn't that great. Yeah. And uh, I don't even think it's a real sushi bar. I think it's like a... You know, it's not Japanese. It's like a Korean joint. Uh, it's one of those places where like you order sushi and instead of giving you two pieces of nigiri they give you one. You know, nigiri means two pieces too. So for them to give you only one piece of sushi is uh, not only very untraditional and just not right. It's expensive because you got to order two pieces to get one portion of nigiri sushi. I don't know. Seven, eight bucks for a couple slices of tuna. Thin slices. Uh-oh, there's a poor little doggy in the car. Poor little doggy. Must be really hot in there. Hey, little doggy. Poor doggy. I hate it when people leave their dogs in the car like that. Even with the window open, it gets really hot in there. Hope that dog has water.
All right, and we're back to Hygira Street. So uh, let's cross over and we'll continue on down Hygira Street from the other side. As long as we're by US Bank, I'll give you their hours. And there's that mall from across the street. On a Friday or Saturday night, or even a Thursday night, there will be a lot of people down here. Thursday nights they have a farmer's market. They close the street off and they set up food stalls and stuff. And uh, people roam up and down the street and eat street food. Store. Doing what the Apple Store does. Why look at all those Apple Store employees standing around with nothing to do. I've never seen that usually. They're all busy and there's a bunch of customers waiting. Maybe it's the slow time or something. Brixton shop. We've got a lot of hats here. Sunglass out back there. And some other businesses. I think there might even be a movie theater in here somewhere. Oh no, it's not in here. There's some pizza place in there and Barnes and Noble. Tried that pizza place, I don't recommend it.
It's about 3.30 in the afternoon right now. And uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit. Feeling, you know, probably because I'm walking around, I feel a little warm. Here's that ramen joint I was talking about. It's their hours. Of course, they don't put their menu up because they don't want you to see how much they're charging for a bowl of ramen. Say it's at least 72, maybe, maybe even 76. I don't know. Nah, probably not. Hmm. It's a nice balmy 70s. Probably a perfect 72 degrees. Over there, the Black Sheep Bar and Grill. I like that place. It's a fun joint. Uh, it's a friendly little bar. Food is good. Um, a lot of locals hang out there. It's a little bit off the beaten path, so there's, you know, it's like a mixture of locals and there's, you know, some tourists come in. But yeah. I really like the black suit. I always did. And uh, this is the pan over there menu for you. You can always just pause the video if you want to read it. Pan over it real quick here. And there's a cigar store right next to our with this really cool Indian out front. Beautiful pillars on either side of the door. This is kind of a beautiful building. Marble pillars on it. Hi. Agira Sweets. Priscilla Kisig, LCSW. David DMFT. Joy Wilkins Massage Therapy. Expand and breathe and dentabrite. Slow. The ritual. Men's clothing and accessories. And other stuff, I guess. Pet cat clothing. The Hemp Shack. Euphoria.
Hands gallery, hands gallery. It's nice coming back the other side because you can really get an idea of the architecture better from this side of the street. Like uh, there's the Warden Block Building, 1897. And I was highlighting earlier in the video. All these historic buildings here. And the ones that I filmed from the other side of the street, I can give you a closer look at from here. So. And here's Garden Street. And Garden Street is uh, kind of fun. So these little cafes in here. And it's very narrow. Uh, and they've kept it that way with the parking arrangement. One way street. And uh, so it's got kind of a feel of like a little, I don't know, like a European town or something. Like a little, I don't know. Let's just walk down it. This is the Mighty No Building. Different entrance to it. And there's a cafe there where you can get coffee and other things. Linnea's Cafe. Linnea's. And across the street is the Oak Grill. Here's the Beret Block Building with Garden Street Goldsmiths and I guess it's, that's it, Garden Street Goldsmiths and then there's Jean Francie's Gallery, Finders Keepers Consignment Boutique. Baxter Mormon Jewelry and Scout Coffee. And people hanging out on the sidewalk, having some coffee, enjoying the day. pastry shop. Do Needs Wine Company. And La Laconda Ristorante Italiano, which I think has recently changed owners. Pretty sure it has. Let me take a look inside this place. Doesn't look like it's been closed. No art on the walls anywhere. You can kind of see their menu here. Spaghetti, fettuccine, ravioli, lasagna. Salmon and Chardonnay, roasted duck, rack of lamb, braised veal, beef tenderloin, veal scallopini. La Laconda. Baxter Mormon. It's an interesting looking building there. It's got a rooftop garden up there. I can see there's someone's got a penthouse up there. 
must be a really cool place to have a penthouse. Pastry shop featuring truffles, salads, pastry sandwiches, and more. Hi. Mm, that's an interesting apparatus. And here we have the oak grill on the left. The oak grill. Narrow and long alley. Once you're in there, I mean, it's called solitary confinement. And after 30 days, they have to do an evaluation on you because if you sit there all by yourself. Local artisans. Making slow. We love local makers. So I guess they have local artisans here. Making slow. <laughs> Not a lot of window space. Street seems strangely quiet, but it is a it is a Wednesday, so that's gonna happen. This is ambiance ambiance clothing store. We've got a lot of clothing for sale. <laughs> cool looking shop though. Hi. Oh, and this is the world famous bubblegum alley where they have all this bubblegum stuck to the walls here. People started coming in here and sticking their bubblegum to the wall. And uh, it turned into a thing. And so there's bubblegum all over the walls here. And people got very elaborate and used the bubble gum to spell things. And to get the bubble gum very high up on the wall. But most of the bubble gum is just stuck. Just stuck here to the wall. Look at all this bubble gum. And it kind of smells like bubblegum when I walk down when I walk down bubblegum alley and all the old bubblegum has turned black it's kind of disgusting looking black and it looks like there's mold growing in it And then on top of it, you have the more recent bubble gum, which is more colorful. Double bubble. Nick the Greek. Again, not my favorite. 
they put potatoes in the gyros and I'm just not, I don't want potatoes in my gyro. If I order a gyro, if I want potatoes, I'll have the potatoes on the side. And they're deep fried potatoes. Here, I'll show you a picture. They've got a picture here. But deep fried potatoes right in the gyro. Not only very unhealthy, but it's not traditional and I don't like it. <laughs> Michael's Optical. Right here, selling optical stuff. Buffalo Pub and Grill. Well, oh, I got food here. Pretty much just bar food, you know, burgers, wings and ribs, nachos, pretzels, tri-tip sandwich, mac and cheese. Battle axe, indoor axe throwing. <laughs> <laughs> They're waving. <laughs> Hi. Must be slow time, huh? Yeah. No one's here throwing axes right now. Huh? Yeah. 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 It'll. You'll be able to find it if you just look for. It'll be a, a, a slow downtown walk. Walk. Walking downtown slow. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you guys, it would be good for you guys, huh? When, when does it pick up here? When does it get busy? Oh, uh, usually Saturdays, Friday and Saturdays. Oh, okay, yeah, the weekend for sure. When people are drinking? Yeah. That's the best time to throw axes around when you're drinking, of course. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, you guys. Yeah. Cool place, cool people, cool employees. Cool shot. You should go in there and throw battle axes around. You know, have a great time. This is the Cruisburg, California cafe. You get espresso here and stuff like that. The Mark Bar and Restaurant. Oh, this is where they have the tapas. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is the bar part, I guess. Wow. This is where you get your tapas. Amazing. Doesn't look like a tapas joint. <laughs> Save water, drink tequila. They got pool tables in here. They got a patio in back. It's like a fun joint. Got live entertainment here. And tacos, tapas, and tequila, if you believe, is fine. It's 
some clothes. Looks like a closed store. It's closed, but not empty yet. This is a spa or something, beauty salon. And there's the competitive arcade and tap room. Oh, cool, so you can drink beer and play video games. Drink beer, play video games, shoot pool. This place looks like lots of fun. That's a fancy car. Maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just supposed to look like a fancy car. Let's see if he takes off really fast. He's driving normally. Anyway, this uh, well, there's a children's museum over there, that big metal building. that's about covers it um, thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video uh, you're a real trooper if you hung in and I uh, really appreciate your staying with me and listening to me as I ramble on here um, if you haven't done so already be sure to like and subscribe to my channel I don't know how much good it does to say that, but because uh, if you liked it, you've probably subscribed already. But um, do appreciate that. I do appreciate any comments below. Uh, let me know uh, if there's anything particularly interesting in this video, or if you have any questions, if anything else you'd like to see here in downtown slow give me some suggestions maybe i'll uh maybe i can uh i'll let you know how it went a mountain over there with a giant m on it it used to have a big cross, but uh, they, they took they dismantled the cross and put a giant M in place of the giant cross, which is an improvement in my opinion. The M stands for Madonna, the, the guy who owns the mountain. <laughs> Pretty funny. Thought I was an egomaniac. How big of an egomaniac do you have to be to put your initial on a mountain like that a lot of people live back there there's a lot of like uh, housing like uh, studio apartments and stuff Oh my gosh, I forgot to feed the meter. I hope I didn't get a ticket.